Hi y'all, this is Katie Sunshine and this is a quick tutorial on how to open your collapsed hoop. So if you've ordered a hoop from me, when you get it in the mail, it looks like this. And um, I have some instructions in the box on how to open it, but sometimes I think it helps too to actually watch somebody do it. So your first step is to make sure your two connection points are lined up. And I usually have a little bit different color grip tape around those two points. So I'm going to move this around a little bit so they're lined up a little bit better. Then once you've got them lined up, you're going to put your hands on the opposite end of the connectors and you're going to pull it open into a figure eight. Then you're going to grab your hands on either side of the top connector and you're going to twist your wrists in opposite directions. So it's a motion like you're wringing out a wash rag. One wrist is going forward, the other wrist is going back. And as you do this, you can even uh, put your foot on the bottom of the hoop and kind of pull up as you're twisting. And then I usually have to flip it over to the other connection point. And you just keep twisting until the tape patterns totally align. And then you're ready to hula hoop. Um, it is not uncommon for your hoop to be a little bit warped after it's been in the collapsed position. And so for that reason, I don't recommend that you keep it in the collapsed position for very long. Also, it's not uncommon for the tape to kind of wrinkle when it's in the collapsed position. There again, that's why I don't suggest you keep it collapsed all the time. Uh, but the best way to store your hoop day to day is in the open position like this. All right, then you're ready to hoop. All right, and then closing your hoop or collapsing your hoop is going to be just the opposite of opening it. So, um, I've got my hands on either side of the top connector and the bottom of the hoop I'm going to rest against the ground. And I'm going to once again twist my wrist in that position but I'm going to push down on the hoop as I'm doing that. And it's going to collapse back into that figure eight and then you're going to place one end of the hoop against your body just for a little bit of support. Grab the other end and fold it back onto itself. Just like that. Now if your hoop kind of wants to pop back open like mine is doing, it's real easy. You can just kind of slip one end underneath the other and you'll find a position where it'll stay closed. There you go. That's how you collapse your hula hoop.